Hello and welcome to Little Learners Education. This week we're focusing on the letter sound So today we're going to go step by step through how to make your own honey bubble solution and then how to make your own bubble wand, bubble blower and bubble shooter with your toddler. To make your own honey bubble solution, a bubble wand, a bubble blower and a bubble shooter, you will need a mixing bowl, one litre of warm water, a third cup full of honey and half a cup of liquid dishwashing detergent. The first thing we're going to do is pour the water into a bowl, then add the honey then stir until the honey dissolves. Then add the liquid dishwashing detergent. Then stir very gently. Then cover and leave for a day to age. For the bubble wand, you will need two sticks, which are approximately 50 centimeters long and one centimeter in diameter two pieces of rope, one which is 150 centimetres long and one that is 75 centimetres long, both five millimetres in diameter, two eyelet screws and a metal washer. So now it is time to make the bubble wand. The first thing we're going to do is clean the sticks to make sure there are no loose sparks or no sharp edges. What you do is place an eyelet screw onto one of the sticks and then do the same onto the other stick. Then we're going to thread the longest piece of rope, which is 150 centimeters, through the eyelet screw and tie a knot at the top, leaving a tail at the end, which you are going to need later. Then thread the washer through the long piece of rope. Then we're going to thread the rope through the second eyelet screw and tie a knot again, making sure we leave a little tail at the end. Then with the second shorter piece of rope, you're going to tie it on to the longer rope using that tail that we left behind. And then tie the loose end of the second piece of rope onto the end of the tail. Leave a bit of a tail on the short piece of rope so you can feed it through the eyelet screw and tie another knot to make sure it's extra secure. And there you have your bubble wand. For the bubble blower, you will need a plastic bottle, a pair of scissors, a sock, a rubber band, food colouring and a pipette. So now we're going to make our bubble blower. So the first thing we're going to do is cut the bottom of the bottle off. Then place the sock over the bottom of the bottle. Hold the sock in place by placing a rubber band on top. Now we're going to add some food colouring onto the sock. Then dip it back into the solution. My favourite colour. Four. 
For the bubble shooter, you will need 10 plastic straws, a rubber band, and a pair of scissors. Now it is time to make our bubble shooter. For this, we're going to cut the bendy part of the straw off, and then using a rubber band, tie the straws together. If you would like it a bit more decorative, you can use washer tape. And now it's time to test it out.